It's Pop and Pete's Team Money up in the house here to do a video for you. Um, I told you guys I was going to get back to you quickly because this Tuesday, uh, the 27th, was a big day for new releases. So I did get quite a little stack here. Not too many, but I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 releases to go over real quick with you guys. So. It's quite a few, though, for one week, so. Um, so, yeah, I guess first up, we'll just do the DVDs. I actually have two. One of them I've actually had for a little while. Oh, by the way, guys, this is Ali Lucifer, um, my beautiful blood-red um, corn snake. Whoa, come on, buddy. I showed you guys Levi in one of my previous videos. Um, my corn, or I mean, my uh, California king snake. But this is my blood red. This is kind of like my rare, beautiful snake. So The camera doesn't really do him justice, but he is really cool. It's all red, with the exception of um, trying to get a good image of him. All red, with the exception of a little bit of white in the underbelly, which you can kind of see. It's like splotchy, but you can kind of see it good there. good image but this guy he's a little more frisky than Levi so um, pardon me if I'm like moving around a lot and readjusting him and stuff as I go um, but yeah just keep it funky you know keep it keep it keep it different I like to keep it different so throw him in the mix and plus I showed told you guys I would show you him a little while back come on yeah good boy good boy all right so first up we have um, psychomania from Severin this one I've actually had for a little while now, but I think I forgot to show it in one of my updates. I've had it for like maybe a month. Um, I do have a hard box edition of this that I bought from Diabolic a while back, but Severin was having a sale, and I caught this for like ten bucks. Um, and unfortunately, this was only released on DVD <clears throat> from Severin, so I grabbed that during the sale for ten dollars. So yeah, it's a cool zombie biker movie, definitely unique. So that's Psychomania. This, uh, I had a gift card to Amazon, uh, three All Hallows Eve, I don't know if it's All Hallows Eve 3, or what, I think they have had a few of these movies, but this is from, um, what is it, MM something media, Sector 5, uh, it's super budget, I watched it last night, it's not very good, it's okay, um, but yeah, I should probably give it another watch, because I was kind of asleep, but yeah, what I was going to say is I had an Amazon gift card, and I had, like, eleven dollars left on it so I needed to fill that up I could have put it towards something a little bit more valuable but so yeah I didn't know what to do so I just grabbed this and it's new it came out this yesterday actually so so that's it for the DVDs um, <laughs> we'll get into the blu-rays now so this is the new Ninja Turtles movie um, and yeah um, I actually have a UV code for it I gave it to Jeremy um, which I regret doing <laughs> because he hated the movie, but I told him not to use the code, so I don't know. Hopefully he's a man of his word and didn't use the code. Um, so if you guys want that, first come, first serve there. I hope it works is all I can say. Anthony, Pipsy's in the window. See if she wants to come in. But yeah, so I hope that works for you guys. If not, fuck you, Jeremy. You said you hate the movie, so don't use it. <laughs> um, kidding. Anyway, um... back in its case, and I don't want to lose Lou. Alright, uh, we'll do that later. Alright, so uh, next up is one that people have been raving about, Neon Demon. I haven't seen it yet, um, but I got it yesterday. It came out. All these are pretty much new releases with the exception of a couple. But yeah, happy to have this. Uh, the Neon Demon. A lot of hype. Can't wait to watch it. A lot of these, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to watch because I got them in yesterday, but I just kind of wanted to do this, get it out of the way, because it was a lot for one week. Uh, next up is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Uh, I've heard a few people talk about this one, so, and said it was good, so. Happy to have you. She didn't want to come in? Okay. Uh, next up is two releases from Redemption, one that's brand new, Daughter of Dracula. Um, I believe this is directed by Jess Franco, so it's cool, very happy to have this. Um, Jesse from uh, Diabolic actually shot me an email because I had placed an order, and he was like, by the way, um... Daughter of Dracula is coming out later this evening. I mean, we have it in stock. We're going to have it. So we basically have it in stock. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
No piss. Good. Um, so yeah, so I, I added that to my order. Happy to have it. Haven't seen it yet. Um, and I remember a while back, Moods recommended this. I asked him, because he has the entire redemption line, so I asked him what he recommended. And this was one of the few that I didn't buy that he had recommended. So um, I finally got it. I think it's Elim Mortel or something like that. French film, I believe. Um, don't really know anything about it, but uh, happy to have it. <laughs> Next up, Blood Diner. Finally, actually, I had this Blu-ray for a long time. This is a, I got this, um, it's, I think it's German. I got it from New Vision Films. I got this um, on Diabolic. But, being the collector that I am, I am collecting the Vestron video line for sure. I had to upgrade and grab this. I don't know if it's much of an upgrade. Um, let's see. It's a 1080p presentation, original one. It doesn't say what it is. Huh. This one's 1781 format. This is 1851. So this one may be a little bit better. I don't know really what that means. But both 1080p, and it doesn't say. I'm sure they're probably just 2K releases, whatever. But yeah, so now I have both editions. It'll be interesting to compare them. I love this movie, so happy to have it. And I actually do have um, Chopping Mall coming. Uh, I placed an order with Diabolic for it. Because um, I like to support them, but it hasn't come yet. So that'll be in my next update. Uh, next up, we have two releases from uh, Criterion, Cat People, and Blood Simple. Um, these were actually supposed to be in my last update, but I didn't get them in on time, so um, happy to have these guys. And I got my booklets, because remember last time, I don't know if you do, but I got uh, Carnival of Souls didn't come with its insert booklet, so I had to email them, and they were super cool. Um, to, then they sent them right out to me, but these are good. They came intact. So, uh, next up I have a couple releases from Arrow. I actually just picked this up. I know I'm late to the party, but um, I wanted to grab this, the Swing Cheerleaders, even though it's kind of, uh, you know, exploitation-y type, uh, not horror film. It's directed by Jack Hill, so I am a fan of Jack Hill. Um, so, yeah, finally, oh, it's cool how it's like out of focus. Focus. So, yeah, happy to have this, Swing and Cheerleaders. Cool cover art, too. I fucking love that. Arrow. Can't beat it. Look, it's very similar to this. The same color schemes, you know? So yeah, this is a new one on Matinee. I'm really excited to watch this. Probably gonna watch this tonight, to be honest. Um, directed by Joe Dante, and it stars, um, what's his face? John Goodman. So you can't go wrong with John Goodman. So yeah, very happy to have this Alien Ant film. Come on, no, 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 come on, no, 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 uh oh, hang on guys, okay, we're good, we're good, and next up we have Slugs, um, very happy to have this too, highly anticipated, fuck yeah, beautiful cover art too, look at that, it's fucking gorgeous guys, highly recommend this, this is region, weird, it says A, <laughs> A only, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, happy to have this, I have, uh, no I don't, I think that's my, yeah, that's my first upgrade of Slugs, thankfully. I have it on DVD, but so happy to have that. I haven't seen the transfer yet, so can't come on. To, can't comment on that one. He keeps going around the arm of the chair and getting all tangled up. All right, guys. Last up, we have from Shout Factory, Scream Factory line. I did splurge and buy the five um, limited releases of I think the Roger Corman films productions. Um, haven't watched any of them yet. Time Walker. Limited to 3,000 each. So if you want them and you want to cough up the money, get them while you can. 3,000 each, and I'm probably sure they're probably down to at least half now, I'd say. Uh, the Velvet Vampire. This one actually came out a while ago. Deathstalker and Deathstalker 2. But I'm just showing it because I wanted to show you them all together, all five. Message from Space. And last up, uh, Up From The Depths. So yeah, very happy to have these. Um, you know, if anything, I've decided I'm going to probably ease up on buying the IFC releases. So I'll still collect the Scream Factory line with the exception of all of the IFC releases. So if there's something that's like, like we talked, I talked about in my last video, I, I forget what it, The Dead Room, I'll skip that, you know, no problem. But Scream Factory, Shout Factory line, Scream Factory... I will collect, um, 
isolated Scream Factory, but uh, going to pass on a lot of the IFC. So I've decided that's what I'm going to do, guys. So here on out, that's what it'll be. But these Scream Factory releases, limited, Roger Corman's, I'm buying them. I don't care that they were 35 bucks. Fucking, you know, Arrow's 30 bucks. I mean, it is what it is. Worth it to me. So this, I don't know why this was so expensive. $27.99. Uh, you guys are wondering that too. I mean, um, I tried to find, like I went to Diabolic. I was like, $27.99. They must, um, you know, have not gotten the best deal on it. So then I checked Amazon, $27.99. So that is the going rate for Blood Diner which is a little bit absurd if you ask me, but hey, Vestron Video, the fact that this was an, a, U, uh, a VHS company back in the day, um, fucking awesome that they're putting out, they're, they're back and they're digitally restoring Blu-rays of classic slashers, which is like what they did back in the day on VHS, um, or just they put out VHS. So awesome, really happy to have this. I'm gonna grab uh, the next two that are coming out in November. I know it's uh, Night of the Return of the Living Dead 3 and one other one, uh, Chud 2. So yeah, once I get my chopping mall, I'll be uh, collection complete so far. So very happy to have this one. That's probably the highlight. That, that and the uh, Scream Factory releases. So that's it, guys. Say goodbye. My friend. Bite them. Fucking kill them, Ellie. Kill them. No, you will them. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do a video for body bags. Um... I think I'm, it's Spanish week, so tonight look out on my body bags page. If I get around to it, I hope I do. <laughs> I'm going to do a review for the Blind Dead series, uh, the, the second one. Return of the Blind Dead Part 2, I forget what it's called. But, but yeah, check that out on body bags. Alright guys, catch you later. Peace!